I credit my older sister with the way that I became involved in dance. She's nine years older than me and was like a mom to me. And so when Ever she did anything, that was the thing that I wanted to do. She was a cheerleader, a dance captain, you know, you name it. You know, one day her friends were like, your sister's so cute, she should dance with us. And she'd be like, uh, she's annoying little past. But uh, eventually I was made the mascot for her cheerleading team and it just escalated from there. I was involved in sports and dance and cheerleading. By the time I got to high school, it was like, you have to pick one thing. So I chose to stick with dance because I was better at it than basketball. <laughs> I became involved in ballet because of my love of the Nutcracker. First time I saw the Nutcracker, I knew I wanted to be a sugar plum fairy. By the time I got to graduate school the first time, and actually graduate school the second time, I became very aware of the lack of presence of the black dancing body, particularly in ballet, it was foreign to bodies of color or black bodies. And this was not factual, this is just critic John Martin's opinion. People like Arthur Mitchell came along and uh, said, uh, I challenge the notion that ballet is not for black bodies and came up with Dance Theater of Harlem. Alvin Ailey, you know, did the exact same thing and challenged every uh, white dancing body normative by putting all bodies of, you know, color on stage. I was really determined to illustrate how this is still a problem, particularly in the discipline of academia and dance, that we are not privileging dance curricula surrounding black dance, the black dance aesthetic, but that we're not employing black dance faculty. So when you see ballet teachers that look like me, it's like shock and awe. And even here, my first day meeting the campers and was introduced as the ballet instructor, shock and awe, because your ballet teachers generally do not look like me. Campers need to know that, that no is never the final answer. Can't is, is just one you know, way for people to basically stifle you from the thing that they know that you can do that they can't do. No is not the final answer. No one can tell you that you can't do something. And when they do, do everything in your power to show them that you can.